Hello everyone, I'm Chip Vagnoni, Product Manager with Acteon North America. We're here today with Colleen Rutledge, Registered Dental Hygienist, and we're here to talk to you today about the Neutron line of ultrasonics from Satellec, the equipment division of the Acteon Group. Uh, Colleen is a Registered Dental Hygienist who uses PISO, and we're here today to learn a little bit more about it. So, uh, Colleen, why did you move initially from hand scaling to power scaling? Chip, it was about seven or eight years ago, I attended a continuing education course, and it fit right into um, what I was looking for, actually. I was, I was having um, ergonomic considerations, working six days a week. I really had to get away from just using my hand scalers. And um, when I came out on the break, I actually saw, you know, my first piezo, actually. Um, I had seen them when I attempt sometimes, but I was always intimidated because I wasn't taught it in school. So. Um, you know, the rep there took some time to educate me and I was really amazed at the tips that I saw and I was actually moved so much by the presentation and what it could do in regards to disrupting the biofilm and so forth and that was fitting into all the research that I was reading about the systemic link and I was trying to move forward into non-surgical periodontal therapy as a clinician. So I was really interested in where this uh, product could take me in the future and I actually bought my own unit. Uh, it was probably in 2004 and I have to say it has changed my career and the benefits far outweigh anything that um, you know I had ever expected when I bought the unit. Hmm. So I just feel like it's done so much for me uh, ergonomically and then in clinical outcomes and patient care. Great. So what are the differences between the different types of power hands, uh, powered scaling there are that are out there? I know there's a there's sonic, there's a magnetostrictive, and then there's piezoelectric, which is what satellite manufactures. Yeah. Can you tell me more about that? Well, Sonic is actually air-powered, and uh, it doesn't have the cavitation, so it's not going to break up that biofilm co colony that we, you know, are looking for for better therapeutic outcomes. Um, so I used Sonic for years, and I loved it. Um, but when I found out what the research was in regards to breaking up that biofilm colony, I felt like you know it really wasn't the best that I could be providing for the mm -hmm. patients. Um, you do need to apply a little bit more pressure and you need a little bit more elbow grease when you're using, you know, a sonic scaler. Um, the other two types which are uh, magnetostrictive and piezoelectric are both ultrasonics and both of those technologies will break up the biofilm. Mm -hmm. So now you have to think about, well, you know, which one's going to be more comfortable for the patient. With the magnetostrictive units, the tip runs in a figure eight. So it actually will hit the tube and come away from the tooth and this causes chatter. And for years, the patients, you know, when we use this technology, they would say, well, you know, it's too uncomfortable for me. It's the water. It's too cold. Well, what I found out when I bought my piezo, uh, I was working in the same practice and, you know, the same operatory and the same patients, and I unplugged the electricity in the water for my magnetostrictive unit and, you know, plugged in my, my satellite piezo, and lo and behold, these patients that were hand scale only were getting through their appointments beautifully. So the difference was with piezoelectric, now getting to our third type, is it runs on linear vi uh, vibration. So they're smooth and painless with less tissue trauma, less water, the handpiece never heats up. Um, it can support micro uh, ultrasonic thin tips, tips that are as thin as a periodontal probe. So this makes a really big difference when you're using something like a piezo because it can support what we call accelerated instrumentation. It's almost like having uh, a power operated uh, hand scaler with all the benefits of the cavitation and lavage. Great. Um, I know when I'm talking to a lot of hygienists at, at different trade shows and different events, they um, sometimes they're a little bit scared moving from a, a magnetostrictive to a piezo, thinking that they're going to have to learn this whole new technique. Um, is, is that true? What What can you tell me about that? Well, like with anything else, you know, I think as a whole in the United States, we're a little intimidated because we have uh, mostly magnetostrictive units in our schools. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when I went to hygiene school, um, it's kind of funny, but I was never actually put into the unit where their, the magnetostrictive um, scaler was. I didn't have a patient that qualified, so I actually graduated from dental hygiene school with, without any ultrasonic experience. So I received the Golden Scaler Award, so I had no problem. I was really attached to my instruments. So um, when it came to uh, learning about PISO, uh, I never had the opportunity to actually learn it formally. And I remember going into some offices where they had it, if I tempt or so forth, and the doctor would say, do you know how to use PISO? And I'd say, well, no, and I felt like, well, show me, and, and oh, okay, well, you know, just, just use, you know, the magnetostrictive unit. So I think as a whole, we tend to be intimidated, and it's a shame. Um, you know, I actually, you know, made the plunge forward because I did. I had this ergonomic uh, consideration with working six days a week, and I needed to buy something, 
you know, that was going to keep me employed. But um, having said that, you go back to the learning curve. It's just like anything else. I mean, my need was to stay employed. I had to learn something that was going to get me away from hand scaling as much and move me forward, uh, not only in patient care, but patient comfort and my, com my own comfort as well. So um, I looked at learning that as something essential. And when you buy your own unit, as I did, you tend to make that investment and, and hang with it, you know. So um, I felt like the only thing I had to really uh, think about was to use this ultrasonic like a scaler. And so when I employed my scaling techniques with this, it, there really wasn't much learning curve at all. But I did have to police myself. And remember, um, to use the lateral sides, I can use less water. I can go more th slowly and methodically, uh, kind of using sweeping motions. And when I um, used it that way, it was very efficient. And I was very happy with it. And I actually was using my instruments less and less. Great. That's good to hear. And um, now that we know about the differences between piezoelectrics and magnetostrictive and some of the other techniques that are out there, um, what can you tell me that's an advantage about our particular uh, devices from Satellite? Um, well, I like the Satellite product because uh, when I started to research it, you know, when I was, I was interested in it when I saw it at the course, um, the tips are what really grabbed my attention. You know, when I saw tips for an ultrasonic unit that had blades, I mean, actually cutting edges like our instruments. When I saw tips that were for implants, they were made from carbon, they could go around the implants uh, safely. When I saw um, the diamond coated tips, I mean, it was, it was amazing. It was kind of like a lineup of instruments. So I was very impressed by um, just the tip selection and the quality of the tips. But then when I researched the company further, I found that they were actually the developers of piezoelectric technology uh, over 35 years ago. So I thought, well, this is the leader in the technology. So they, they're on top of their game. Um, everything you know, that I saw futuristically with the unit was where I wanted to go. And so it really was um, kind of like a no-brainer because it met all of my needs. And I think it's one of the best kept secrets, actually, out there is Satellite's unit. Great. Uh, is there anything, any, any other experiences that you would like to share with us uh, with our ultrasonics and going from a piezo to magneto restrictive, mm -hmm. anything personally that you'd like to add? Well, I guess I think about that first day when I went to work and um, I, I came into work and, you know, my, my boss saw me coming in with equipment, which isn't usually the standard for hygienists, but um, he had known I was serious about buying something and he had known had, that I had to work six days a week. So I went ahead and I unplugged my uh, magneto restrictive unit and um, I plugged in my new piezo and I unplugged the water line and you know plugged in my new water line and um, first patient you know I, I told them that I had bought this and could they you know please you know let me use it on them to see how they liked it and so forth and the first patient was smooth and the second patient was smooth and by the time you know it's before lunch and I'm on the third or fourth patient you know I'm feeling like a hero because these patients are just raving about it and it's so comfortable and I was noticing you know how much more efficient I was and I had tactile sensitivity and I wasn't drowning Patients, I didn't have to use as much water, and and the patients were actually saying that their their teeth felt cleaner, and they were very very impressed by the technology. So, you know, I always remember that day, and I, I you know, I never can go back because making that purchase really changed everything just in that one day. Uh, and when I go into offices and I temp now, uh, I go into office cold. I don't know the staff, I don't know the patients, and they see that I have something different. And I explain to them that this unit is like a scaler, only it's automated, and I kind of make the comparison of a manual toothbrush and uh, a power toothbrush. And that's really what it is. It's like putting our scalar tips on an automated system that's going to do the work that our body does. Mm -hmm. So it makes our job easier and then the clinical outcomes because of the, cavita the cavitation, lavage, and everything uh, really makes you know your cases come out beautifully. Great. Well, thank you very much, Colleen. I appreciate it. And we'll be having a few more videos here showing some of the different devices as well as how the tips are used. Thank you very much.